to the Owner Child Care app from a parent's point of view. So what we have in front of us here is the timeline. Uh, at the very top I can see that Miss Elizabeth is the responsible person on duty. The UV alert is displayed there as well. I can then see a post from Miss Jane, uh, loving the bubble play. And I can, as a parent, like that. I can also add a comment. And that'll appear there for anyone who can see this post. But I like that. There we go. I can see here when I click on the little information, I can see that I've liked that. And I can also see the learning outcomes against that post. If I add a comment, Oops, sorry about that. If I add a comment that I want to get rid of, all I need to do is slide to the right with my finger and I can click on delete and I can delete that there. I'll just leave that there for now though. Up the top right hand corner, you can actually filter all of the posts. So if your center is a large center and they have a lot of posts coming through, you can actually just click on my children. That'll only display posts that have your child tagged. If you want to just display your room, you're also able to display just your room's events. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave that as all. And so that'll display everything that's happening in the center. Down the very bottom, I have a events calendar. If I click on this little events calendar down here, I can actually see the events that are happening at my center. So as long as your center is uploading events, they will appear here. Uh, and for some events, when you click through on them, you're able to RSVP. So for this one here, I'm just going to say that we are going and that there are going to be three of us. And if I click OK, that'll actually RSVP for me to this event. On the top right hand corner, I can actually click and add this to my own device. So if you're on your old phone, you can actually click on that and that'll actually put it into your own calendar on your device. Also down the bottom, we've got a plus symbol. If you click on that plus symbol, there are a few things that you're able to actually do here. So as a parent, you're able to create a post. So I can come in here and I can say uh, on the weekend, we put our Christmas tree up. I can grab an image from my gallery or I can take a photo if I have one. I can also tag a particular teacher. So this is great if you want to send a message privately to a teacher. I would just actually click on the teacher that I want to send it to and that would go only to that teacher. For this instance here, we'll just leave that with all staff. So have it as no one. Now for all posts that you put up and for posts that the educators put up, they can also lock a, a post. Basically locking means that only the person who is tagged, so the the parents of that child who is tagged or the educator uh, will be able to see that post. For now, I'm just going to leave that unlocked because I'm quite happy for this post to be seen by all educators and other families. So now if I just pull down and refresh, I can see here this is the post that I've just put up and I also have the ability to delete this post because I am the owner of it. Okay, down the very bottom also with that plus symbol, you're able to do casual bookings. So casual bookings, if your centre has it turned on, allows you to book an extra day so that your child can, can go in on that day. So let's just try and click on Thursday here. So that's actually been confirmed. So I have obviously taken the last spot because now Thursday has become unavailable. And if I click on the little information icon here, I can see that I've actually taken that that date. Also with the casual bookings, I can do a handover, sorry, also with casual bookings, you need to remember that once you've booked, you actually have successfully booked that and you've done it straight away. So your child's name will appear in the attendances for that day. If you do need to cancel it, you need to make contact with your centre straight away. There is also under that plus symbol handover form. So if I click on that, this is great, especially for small children uh, and you just want to relay some information so that the educators who are looking after your child that day have some sort of um, information. 
Also with the plus symbol, you can mark your child as not attending. So marking your child as not attending, once you have marked them as not attending, just remember that you're actually opening up that day that you've marked your child as not attending open for someone else, potentially. So I'm going to mark my child as not attending, um, let's say, next Friday. I can put a reason in here if I'd like to. I don't have to. And I can sign that. When I click the arrow, I actually get, are you sure? And that is just to make sure that, yes, you have got that right day. Uh, and that once you do this, uh, you will need to contact the centre if you didn't mean to do it for that day because that day may actually go out to someone else as a casual booking day. Also down the bottom there's a settings cog. Under that settings cog there's all of the details about the app, so terms of use, security, languages, end user license agreement, privacy policy. There's also your app cheat sheet, parent walkthrough which we're doing right now. You can reset your password or your PIN just here. You can also have a look at your staff profiles so if your staff if you click through on a staff you can sometimes see some information about that staff member that's dependent on what the center has actually loaded up there's also the contact information about the center so in case you need to give them a call or send through an email or see what the opening and closing times are and as i can see here at the very top my name is here and that is who as i am logged on as right now so if we just click back home, it'll actually just take us back to the home screen, which is the timeline. Now up the top left hand corner, this is probably the most important area for you as a parent. If I click on that little hamburger icon, I can actually see my child. And if there were multiple, they would appear here, one under the other. I can see an excursions, which I can click through on and actually read through the excursion. And I can actually go through to the bottom and actually enter in the information, sign for the excursion and then submit um, my acceptance of this excursion, so my permission. Also under this hamburger icon on the left hand side I can see newsletters that have been put up by the centre so it's dependent on what the centre actually puts up here. I can see any re-enrolment information that needs to to be filled in for next year, documents and policies, helpful websites, the QIP, so the quality improvement plan for your centre, and the roster if it's available for you to see also. So when I click on my child, here I can actually see all of the information about my child. So I can see their date of birth up here, I can see any allergy, dietary and other information. So if any information is not correct here, you need to let your centre know straight away so that they can have that filled in. I can see here that um, my child was dropped off by Francesco at 10.55am, hasn't been picked up yet. I can see the comments on handover with the estimated pickup time. And I can also see here the daily information that's happened for my child. So, so far, breakfast is one portion, morning tea and so forth. I can also see water consumed, the sleep rest, so right now they appear to be still sleeping. And I can also see the menu for today. I can see a nappy change and a sunscreen application as well. So I can go back to yesterday's date. And here I can actually see all of the same information for yesterday. That was filled in. And I can actually go back 21 days here. On the parent portal, you're actually able to go back as far as you need. So if I just click on at the top, I can see the three little dot ellipses. If I click on that, I can actually click through and see all the posts that have occurred for my child or my child was tagged in. I can view any incident reports. So when I click on view incident reports, I can see any incident reports that have happened for this particular child. I can see who signed and who witnessed. I can also see my own comments or the parents' comments and a parent acknowledgement. Now because I see two little dots down here, I can actually slide across because I know that there's actually another one and I can see a different date here. If you need to sign for any, you would be doing that in the lower portion of the screen and arrowing through. 
Also, if I click on that three little ellipses dot, I can see my child's goals. So child's goals are generally filled in by the educators. Uh, they can be something that you maybe verbally communicated with them. I can view any documents that are associated with my child. So here I can see all of the vaccination records that maybe I've submitted. Uh, and you are able to submit your vaccination records via the, the app. I can see the eczema plan and a history statement as well. So I'll just click through on one of those. And there I can actually just see that information. Also with the three little dots, I can create a medication record. So this is quite important if you send your child to school or to daycare and they need some sort of medication. Oh, sorry. Sorry, clicking on that incorrectly. So just create medication records. So I can actually enter in all of the medication, uh, the expiry date, the last administered time. If it is a reoccurring medication, so say if they need antibiotics for the next week, then I would fill in all of this information, sign it, attach a picture of the bottle, and then arrow through. And that'll go directly to the centre, both to the centre's email and also as an alert to the centre. Also, when I click on that three little ellipses that I've already just done, you can view the medication records that you've filled in. I can also see the attendance history of my child. So if I click through, I can actually see all the days that my child has attended in green. And on the left hand side, you'll see red for any days that my child maybe was marked as not attending. I can also upload those immunization records just here as well. So I would just click on the next one that's happening take a photo and upload that. So I hope that's taken you through the entire app. Enjoy.